Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on adding a comment to a text box control in an Excel VBA user form. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel worksheet variables, and I'm going to use a user form that I've already created to add data to this worksheet. This user form is associated with this blue rectangle here on the right, so if I right click Go down and assign macro. You can see it's associated with this subroutine sheet one dot open form, and this subroutine opens the user form. So I left click, and I have this user form, and I can put the data I want in these text box controls and hit enter, and the data will appear in the next row if I've selected the next cell in column B. So for example, with this cell active, left click. For GPA, I'll put 2.2, midterm 80, final exam 85. I'll skip comments. Grade will be a C. And let's say the outcome is a 75. Press enter. I'll close this. And you can see that data is now on this worksheet. Additionally, as I enter these text box controls, the back color is changed to yellow. So I'm going to modify this user form so that a comment appears in this grade text box. And the comment will appear there until the user moves into the text box, sets the focus on the text box, then the comment will disappear. However, if the user leaves the text box without entering data, the comment will return and when I click enter, if the comment is still there, it will not appear on the worksheet. So let's take a look at the code behind this. It'll be Alt F11. This will open the Visual Basic Editor. And here is a look at this user form in this edit mode. So we have command button one, and that adds the text box values to the worksheet and selects the next row. And then we have a series of enter and exit events, in this case that just change the back color to yellow and then back to white when the user exits that text box. And other than that, we just have the captions that are set dynamically from the worksheet values. So the variable names become the captions for the labels above the text boxes. So we'll start with this code and we'll modify this text box five, the grade text box. And I want to put a message in it that lets the user know that this is supposed to be the final grade for the course, which may not be clear from the caption grade if there's a midterm grade and a final grade. So it's just to clarify. So the comment will fit. I'm going to make this text box larger. I want the whole comment about fit in this text box. Next, I'm going to go to the code for this user form. And up top, I'm going to place a constant. So it's C-O-N-S-T. And I'm going to call this constant default text. And this will be a string. And it'll be equal to enter the final letter grade for the course, and this will be in quotes. So that's default text. So I'll be using this constant throughout this code. Next, I'm going to move down to text box 5 and the enter event. So this subroutine here. And again, we're looking at text box 5 to modify here. So in this text box 5 enter code it's going to be if me dot text box 5 dot text equals the default text default text then me dot text box 5 dot text will be equal to 
VB null string, so it'll be empty. VB null string. So if textbox5 text equals the default text, then textbox5 text equals VB null string. So when the user enters textbox5, textbox5 will be set to empty. Now the code for textbox5 exit is going to be similar. I just need to switch around null string and default text. So I'm going to copy the same line of code. Control C, move down to the exit event and paste it and then switch around null string and default text. So it's just the opposite. So now if the text box equals null string, if it's empty, it'll be set to the default text. This is when the user exits that text box. So next I'm going to set the initialize event so that text box five equals the default text. So I'm just gonna highlight that part of the code and copy and move down to initialize and at the end, paste. So text box five text equals default text. So the last thing that I need to do is I need to make sure the, the default text is in this text box five, in this grade text box. When the user presses enter, that the comment, the default text, doesn't get recorded on the worksheet. It's just a comment. We don't want it to appear here in the grade column. So to do this, I'm going to move up to the code for that command button. Command button one click. And I'm looking for the code, the line of code here that affects text box five. And I can see it's right here. Active cell offset row zero com four equals text box five value. So I only want this line of code to execute if text box five is not equal to default text. So I'm gonna move in right above this line of code. It's gonna be if text box five text is not equal to default text. Then, so if that's the case, if it's not equal to default text, then it's going to execute this line of code. And otherwise, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to move to the next line of code for text box six. So it'll be end if. So now I'm going to test out this code, move back to the worksheet and cell B4 is selected so for the information for participant 1003 is what I want to add to this worksheet next. Open the user form here to the right and you can see that enter the final letter grade for the course that comment is in the grade text box. So if I go ahead and enter some data here it's at 2.4 midterm 75 Final exam, 70. I'll go to comments, and then I'll move. I won't enter any data there, but I'll move to grade. And as soon as I click into the grade text box, that comment disappears. When I move out of it, it returns because I didn't enter any data into that text box. So I move back into it. It disappears. I'll put a grade in here of B, and I'll make the outcome 80 and press enter and we can see that the values we wanted return to this worksheet. So what would happen if I left that comment in? So set this to the next row and I'll just put uh, a GPA here of 2.3 and couple scores for the exams. I'll move to outcome. I'll skip the 
grade text box and comment text box. I move to outcome, put 90, and click enter. So when I click enter here, I don't want this comment to show up, even though it is displayed right now. And it's not. So that worked. So this comment feature is working the way we intended. When we click in the cell, it disappears so the user can type in the grade. If they move out without entering data in, the comment returns and the comment doesn't transfer to the worksheet if it's left in place. I hope you found this video on adding a comment to a text box to be helpful. Thanks for watching.